I was on vacation in the setting, no internet, no Wi Fi, <laughs> fully disconnected from the source. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then on my birthday, Amazon dropped this teaser trailer, which we had to wait a little bit because no mm -hmm. internet. Ever. Plus, this is another reason why I think Amazon is listening to us that they dropped it on your birthday. Yeah. They knew. Duh. Actually, I requested it. I sent it <laughs> oh. an email. <laughs> a very carefully worded email. Yes. Dear Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah. I guess we should, <laughs> I should also say I haven't fully watched this all the way through. So, okay. Yes. Ah! So this is obviously Avienda. She has, mm -hmm. it looks like two bloody thighs. Mm -hmm. Is it is it probably safe to assume that this is like a small group of far dry smai? I would think so. Because look, they're wearing things that feel like it would be for like carrying weapons, you know? Yeah. She's got some cuffs on, like leathery mm -hmm. style cuffs. Like I feel like that would be protective. And then her mm -hmm. head is covered. It looks mm -hmm. like there's the option to veil up in these mm -hmm, outfits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely like the chauffeur, like mm -hmm. wrapped around the head that we like read about all the time in the books. Something that I just want to point out here is how much movement the clothing has in the wind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how cool that's going to look when they're jumping, swinging, fighting, fighting, like that makes me excited it's very like whimsical <laughs> yeah i'm wondering though is that like a hazard when you're fighting you know what Probably. i mean like could someone grab I mean, could... that yes yeah yes. but i i, I mean, mean the same thing with hair maybe that's why they only have a little rat tail so they can't get yanked <laughs> <laughs> but i don't I'll see grab any you rat by tails. your rat tail <laughs> yeah i don't see any rat tails Man, how could you not feel like a badass wearing an outfit like that? Oh, oh, on her back, there is storage for spear tips. Do you see the three? Mm -hmm. Like yep. one, two, three. I love the a vest. Would you say it's like a vest, like a leather yeah. vest shield? Yeah. Because I imagine like even like that tough leather, if somebody came at you with like something sharp and pointy to your side. Like this would be mm -hmm. flexible, durable. It would be a resource that the Aiel would have. Mm -hmm. Quiet. And you can move in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. like armor. I'm so excited to see these costumes again. Mm -hmm. So a while back. Where there are was, they? There's a waterway gate. Someone. Really? Yeah. Someone posted a picture on Instagram, like a tourist, like found this thing. And it was like, on the beach. <laughs> and of course, like, okay. I think, so I'm assuming that however Moraine and Land get to Toman Head, it'll be mm -hmm. this way gate. So mm. I, I mean, I would assume this would be a, like walking right out of the way gate, like establishing mm -hmm. shot, like them showing up on the beach. I love the sleeves. It looks like she's got mm -hmm. some type of an over like coat, like mm -hmm. a little jacket, and then kind of yeah. like ballooned, like puffy sleeves underneath with mm -hmm. like a tight part around the cuff. Mm -hmm. and, and her skirt is so much flowier yes. than I would like expect right now. Love I think it. they're pants. Are they? Like they big might. swishy pants? Yeah, they might be. I really appreciate the simplicity of Lan's wardrobe. It's really understated. This looks like he knew he was going to be going somewhere warm. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. like real thick looking. It almost looks like a linen type material where- Yeah, no cloak, nothing heavy on either one of them. <gasps> to the white cloaks, where are they? Is that a trebuchet? It's a- camera mounted to a car no 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 the wooden oh <laughs> thing behind it <laughs> i mean thank you for explaining that to me too but <laughs> Tracy, that's a car. 
So there's got to be some sort of like battle something happening. Mm -hmm. Like you don't just roll up with a trebuchet and five guys. <laughs> Do you think that this is a white cloak retreat on Falma? It looks more like attack. If you're going to position that trebuchet, if it were faced in the opposite direction, I would think maybe a retreat. I was wondering if maybe those were the Shan Chens and the White Cloaks are hauling ass out of there. Just because Why there's would... so few of them. I mean, like if it yeah. was an attack, I feel like it would be yep. a lot. A lot more. That's why like this whole scene feels a little weird. Like I'm wondering if there's more to what's going on than what we're seeing in like this glimpse here. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, you don't you don't have just like one trebuchet. I love that word. And like <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, there are like five, maybe mm -hmm. six dudes. Like that's, those things don't go together. You need like way, way, way more people involved. So maybe this is just like a sliver of something that's happening. There is the, the fog machine guy. Like that would make sense. Like fog machine guy, like fogging everything up before like the heroes descend. And that is what like, Tracy, they're riding into the fog. Uh-huh. So I feel, yeah, I feel like they're going in, right? Like they're- Attack! Yeah, yeah. it definitely looks like attack mode. Okay, uh -huh. I think I think we're solving things now, yeah. I love this. I love this. This gives me like goosebumps because- The unsung definitely... hero of the hour. Yeah. Fog machine man, if you're watching, we want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like creating yeah. fog <laughs> for the heroes of the horn? <laughs> I love that. It's kind of like that guy Ooh. on the Game of Thrones, like the big, they did like that big behind the scenes thing and they talked to the guy who was like, I'm responsible for snow. <laughs> They really and I mean, with this show like hit that. the bottom of the barrel with <laughs> interviewers. <laughs> we couldn't get Macy. I said <laughs> so we got the snow we got guy. The guy who does snow. Not John Snow, <laughs> the other snow. <laughs> so are we thinking that this is like this is Falma? This is where we're gonna be having our white cloak, Sean Chen, yeah. all the people thing mm -hmm. happening. Ha <laughs> ha! I do. What was that? What's happening over here? All I know is there is someone in costume here, and they are in an orangey yellow color, mm -hmm. like almost a mustard. I don't know yes. if that would be yellow Aja or if it's just someone of nobility mm -hmm. who can dress mm -hmm. a little bit more flashy, but the mm -hmm. way that they've kind of gone like one full color for the Aja's, like the whole outfit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's an Aes Sedai down there. This, what is happening? Why are there cuffs on there? Okay, hear me out. Always. They, they look like they're in the middle of nowhere. So yeah. what is this metal wheel doing out there? Is this yeah. Age of Legends leftover wheel? Or is it like, this is the wheel of time, so we're going to use a wheel. <laughs> you know, like, I well, feel like there's more meaning. There should be more meaning than just we're going to put yeah. chains on a wheel to, like, hook yeah. someone up to. I mean, it does kind of have that feeling of, like, with that one dark friend, Dina, mm -hmm. where she was like, we're all like strapped trapped by mm -hmm. the wheel and don't we want to like break it free so maybe this is like Ooh, some sort I like of that symbolism take. for that <gasps> maybe a tarongreal of some kind with the dark friend theory here mm -hmm. is it possible that this would be someone from the side of the shadow using against one of the good guys like see we're mm. all chained to the wheel of time and we're gonna break it i mean we do have examples in the book of things that fall within this category of torture yeah yeah detaining mm -hmm. like restraining if you will mm -hmm. so i mean it does kind of fall in line with that but i can't think of anything in the series like the book series 
that resembles this. All right. Is this born? I, which one? Dane. I mean, maybe. His he eyes looks, do look fairly sunken looks... into his head. <laughs> he looks sad. Sorry, like, guy. Maybe he just lost his father. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this an act like a cover for an axe on his back? Oh my god, that'd be so cool. I don't know. Is that how Perrin's gonna get his axe? He's gonna steal it. He's gonna kill him and take it. Ah. Or maybe he was gonna use it against Perrin and Perrin like takes it away from him out of protection and like it's like violence is not the answer, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this away from you, bad white cloak. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I'm. You know what, though? The more I'm looking at this actor and their face, I think this might be Joffrey. I mean, that would explain, like, pretty much all white hair, too. Like, he's older, not just, like, bleached out. But it looks bleached out. It does. I totally agree with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like 100%. Yeah. It could have just been Especially a if they... guy with like bleach blonde hair and they were like, you're great. You're hired. <laughs> you know, like the, the hair color might not you're have exactly anything to do with exactly what we were looking for. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a really good point. Do you think that's a cover for an axe? Like a... You know, the more I look at it, the more I think it might be. Again, the leather work. Awesome. So good. The subtle so good. print on mm -hmm. the fabric. Even the texture of the like the thing across his face feels really good. Yeah, like there's something rugged but still kind of like elegant and formal yes. about this, especially like once you get down to like that that multi-patterned thing that's like mm -hmm. underneath. That's gotta be like what a tabard? Is that what they're called when it's like that? Hold elaborate because it looks almost as though there's more of a design underneath it as well if this is if this is Joffram, he's definitely got the station for everything he's wearing right there yeah yeah i would agree i would agree mm -hmm. okay but that piece behind him on his shoulder what is it i, I want to know all right can we get to our fall darns Yes, yeah. They just look so cool. Yee! That's, that's Uno, Uno, isn't it? Yeah, that's Perrin. I was just going to say, do we, but he's is carrying it? a sword. He is. But look, the the sword shape uh -huh. is similar to uh -huh. the Shinarans. So they could just uh -huh. be like, here, take this. Have You're going to need protection. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally possible. So would this then be them? on the lookout for the horn and pot and fane like is this our group that's gonna go like our search party i think so we definitely have an answer that from last season tv show uno has somehow been revived which i mean okay i still want to know how they're gonna do that how are you guys gonna write that i want to know it has to come down to healing, right? I mean, someone has, it has to heal to. Them. That's it. But who? Who's close enough to do that? I said you I know? ex machina. <laughs> I mean. This is really funny because it looks like they're in someone's backyard. Like, is that a house? Uh, right. <laughs> and is that a tent off to the side? Mm -hmm. Like, is it picnic time? Yeah, I just, I want to know where they're at because it's very lush and green and not mm -hmm. desert. Not Faldara. So. Mm -mm. Okay, so when, in the books, when the Shinarans leave, they go from where they are to the edge of Kyrian, right? Because don't they all meet up with Rand in Kyrian, the city? Yes, at the, okay. yeah, it's right after the nine rings in, I think. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, this could what be outside of Kyrian. So, okay, so now we have a middle of the nowhere way gate, an, a seaside way gate, and now we have a jungle one. This way gate looks so much better with the vines and everything. Like, that's oh, what yeah. I 
really needed from the other way gate, I think. And this mm -hmm. looks so much better. I think when they do the visual effect from using that going into it, it'll be really cool. Like I know we got at the end of season one, when Pod and Fane arrives in Faldara. Mm -hmm. Like there's kind of a hint of how he may have gotten through. Yeah. I really want more about that. Because I don't, like, especially if they're going to be using the Waygate so much more during season two, I definitely want, like... The trefoil leaf being used. Yeah, yeah. And, like, some extra information about it. Like, that would be fun. And are these going to take the places of portal stones? Will we have any portal stone action? I mean, it's very possible that they just, we don't get portal stones. I mean, the... It is. I would honestly be sad not to have the portal stones. I could live without it. Um, yeah. I just think that it's very challenging. How do you yeah. cram in so much that mm -hmm. happened and see what everyone else saw mm -hmm. effectively so that it creates a reaction for the viewer? I mean, they could mm -hmm. do like quick flashes, but that doesn't really explain mm -hmm. them going through multiple lifetimes through. Yeah. Okay. First off, the banner. Are we mm. thinking it's a bird, right? I think so. Is it blue? It's blue. Is Arthur Hawkwing a bird? Are these the... I assume so. I'm pretty sure Arthur Hawkwing is a, a bird on a white background with a blue border. I'm going to look this... it up real quick. Okay. This could be the Sean Chen... Mm, over. like a training or like they've already arrived and they've confiscated like the grounds that's got to be Turok that's got to be Lord Turok this looks like an entourage of someone protecting someone important yeah there is somebody else like kind of trailing behind that's not a soldier is it a woman like, do you think it, f it feels like the answer may be yes Really hard to tell though, but doesn't like Turok walk around with like servants, whoever, yeah, like servants, and he has like various ones who can and can't be like around mm -hmm. him and speak around him. He has like one that he like has with him the majority of the time, I think. What? Do you think he's meeting someone? Like, do you expect someone to walk through that? archway he definitely looks like he's striding purposefully but what it's if a this quick is, shot so what if this is him meeting pot on fane what if this is Ooh. them being like there's mm. this man lurking around and he says that he has something interesting you know that he wants to share mm. <gasps> okay it looks like archer hawkwing's flag is a gold hawk on a white background with a blue border i think that's what you had said it's the same is it i'm yeah i mean of course it is <laughs> they're descendants of arthur hawkwing that just makes sense i think there might be some slight differences from the shan chen flag to the arthur hawkwing flag but not like it's not drastically different okay i would i would love it if that were two rock so then would this be falma yeah I think so. I think this is Lord Turok has already taken over the manor house, whatever. This looks more like a castle. Mm -hmm. The books, it's like a it's like a house, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. But it looks like they've set up here. There's mm -hmm. structures, there's defenses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's also a lot of stuff like scattered about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what I'm kind of looking at too. This could even be like a glorious, triumphant, like we just took this walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. An ownership walk. Yeah, this looks like post-battle almost. Okay. Okay, so I love this guy who's just like <laughs> taking a sip of his coffee. Huge explosion. Oh, coffee time. And they're already addicted that's to awesome. the cough. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of ramshackle. Mm -hmm. Could this be Forgate? This almost makes me think of the granaries, Catching Fire, Civil War, Kyron. Kyron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it could be again, like, you know, how they had the green spring, like it could be a new mm-hmm. location, but yeah, like something along the way. Yeah. And they're not as colorful as our four gators. So that's land, right? Yeah. That's land and Maureen. It's that same outfit with it without the jacket on. Oh, yeah. Land's probably carrying it. <laughs> she just, <laughs> she just she rose aside. She's like, I can get yeah. another one. I don't need this. I am wealthy. Truth. Love it. Old money. That's men. And, okay, so me and Mr. Matt Hatch from the Dusty Wheel were talking on Twitter the other day, kind of. I was like, okay, this side of her head is shaved. I don't know if you can see it on your side, but Uh -uh. it's shaved. And before I could really see the face, Mm-hmm. All I could see was the hair. And I was like, is this Sean Chen? Is this, you know, mm-hmm. shaved shaved sides? Mm-hmm. But it's men. So I don't know if this is like a possible foreshadowing moment of like her becoming who she becomes, or if it was just like men has a cool haircut because it's men. <laughs> you know? Or, <laughs> or- Um, She's already been captured. That's where I was going. And maybe this is something that the TV show Sean Chen do to her as a captive that isn't done in the book. Like we know that she gets kind of forced into wearing a dress so that she can still come and see a queen. So maybe in the, in the show, there's something different. Mm -hmm. Like done for, for that. Putting someone in a dress is like, if you're just yeah, a casual and- viewer, that's not going to mean anything to you. Yeah, especially with the way that they've like set up the the wardrobe so far for for the characters throughout the show. Like pants and dress doesn't really define anything. Yeah. Which is fun. When they're going to Falma and they're, they're like – scouting in the villages and stuff around them as they're like getting to the main city they have to put on like crappy outfits before they can like walk among the villagers so they don't stand out so much is this maybe that like is he on a scouting journey grand trying to travel in disguise he's got Mm -hmm. some kind of like tattered clothes on Mm -hmm. and it is a very different outfit then mm-hmm. this, which gives me more Lord Dragon. Mm-hmm. It so does like, look like more of a fitted coat, doesn't it? Yeah, and like a crisp undershirt. And mm-hmm. if he's with Moraine and Lan, I mean, this could be like, you know, he powered up. Mm-hmm. Like yep. now, like I believe it, I'm the dragon. Like I'm ready to face mm-hmm. The stuff. Yeah, that looks he like does, a Hidori. He does look clean. You're right. You're right. On land with the Hidori. There's three people with them. So it mm-hmm. could. If this is going to be like the Falma scene, then are they going to use the whole five right fourth? And are they going to change it to be like Moraine, Lan, mm. Rand, and like two other people? That changes things quite a bit. Prophecy. But. But we haven't yeah. had any prophecy yet. So they could make it whatever they want, really. They could. Or And it would be kind of fun to, like, drop some of that prophecy into it. Because we really haven't gotten a whole lot of it. And I kind of, I mean, prophecy can be kind of hokey and whatever. But I do kind of like it in the series. There's some really, like, moving parts that come out of the prophecies that I think are just really fun to include. Honestly, this could be the whole posse. Like this could be Rand, Matt, Perrin, Mm -hmm. Moraine, Mm -hmm. Lan. Mm -hmm. It could be. And then they're off to do like the big rescue. This is definitely like a village of some kind, Mm -hmm. whether it's like Forgate or, um, Along the coast on their way to Falma. It could be either one. It could be anywhere. 
Yeah, but I mean, this is definitely like this is not like fancy streets of Kyrian or anything like that. Right. You know, like we definitely have a little bit of economic suppression here. It looks like. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, the four gate would make sense. I mean, look at how like tattered and angular this is like this this building over here to the left has the most bizarre porch <laughs> roof thing like yes. Yes. <laughs> that does not pass code sir yes. <laughs> I, I feel like i'm gonna see jessica white like mountain <laughs> dancing on the side of this <laughs> ramshackle hut uh, novel this guy who's off to the left as well i don't know why but the way that he's dressed he looks somehow like I'm like, a, he looks a, like wizard. a wizard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wizard. Wizarding things for sale. <laughs> What's happening? If this oh. is four gate, it's a lot less colorful than I expected. Yeah. Yeah. Very drab. <laughs> There's this, I just, this pole is going through part right? of this. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just redundant up there. Why? <laughs> Why? I like the it. The more I look at it, the more I think Forgate. Yeah, it looks like bursting with life, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, and the other thing I'm thinking of is Kyrian is even the I know the Forgate is supposed to be like a very different place than the interior of, of the walls of Kyrian. But I would imagine that some of the people would still have like almost that restrained, muted tone in the things that they chose to wear. Because it does look like there's a big bundle of some sort of yellow bright material back mm -hmm. there. So, And maybe this is just the spot that he's in. Maybe this is the mopey part of the four game. Yeah. <laughs> Or these are just four gate peasants that are trying to look upper class with their dark colors. This looks like a, I mean, this could obviously be a traitor, but it looks like this mm -hmm. is like the neck of a horse. And then these are mm -hmm. bundles. Yeah. So, like bundles of fabric. Yeah. Like someone, it mm -hmm. could be like someone trading or it could be someone traveling in or someone leaving. Mm -hmm. And if that yeah. explosion was the four gate, that previous explosion that we watched, if that is a four gate, could be mm -hmm. that time where, you know, well, maybe a little king gets killed and people <laughs> start hearing things about uprising and civil war and granaries being set on fire and ah! wanting, to, wanting to leave town <laughs> quick. It okay. does look like that guy is like, he's got, it almost looks like he has fabric rolled out in front of him, doesn't it? Yeah. Or it's like meat. <laughs> it's either fabric or it's or meat. meat. <laughs> fabric or flesh. <laughs> My two favorite I'll take things. A, I'll take a yard of the yellow wool and a pound and a half of the sirloin. Yes. Thank you. It's a two for one. <laughs> Thank you, wizard butcher. <laughs> <laughs> fabric merchant. <laughs> textile man <laughs> he's a jack of all trades <laughs> that's okay. what you need rand get that guy who is this is it a targaryen is <laughs> it's a girl of rubia rubia <laughs> go easy on them witcher they didn't know i really like in my heart of hearts wanted this to be Adelius or Van Dean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they're not wearing the right colors. Yeah. This is how I picture the courtyard of her little, chic yeah. little cozy home. Yeah. So I don't know. This also doesn't feel like, okay, I've seen people online saying they like this symbol here. Do you see what mm -hmm. it looks like? Mm -hmm. Like the rising sun? Yeah. I've been seeing people say this is perhaps Kyrian because of the sun. Uh huh. Yeah. But this this looks a little bit more like upper crust. This isn't the four gate. I just don't know who this would be unless we get maybe like a Moraine flashback 
of her youth. The thing that keeps throwing me off is that something about this feels masculine to me. Yes. Yes. And I can like untidy. Mm -hmm. Like I feel as though almost everything about this is necessity based. If that yes. makes sense. Like I, this is what I do because I just need to have it out of my face kind of thing. Right. Right. Yeah. But again, why Kyrian? Unless we're doing like a Kyrian flashback, but I don't think this is an Aiel person. Oh no. I don't feel like this is Aiel at all. Mm -mm. I had, I had kind of thought maybe for a second, one of the wise ones, cause we do have like the mention of a wise one or two have like just that straight white hair, mm -hmm. but Again, I can't really see any of them really having like this unkempt appearance. You know what I mean? And two, if it's what would a wise one be doing in Kyrian? They're not, they don't go into the battle, you know? Right. Yeah. And why would they be inside something that looks like it's potentially attached to the palace? Right. You know? Like, where else would the rising sun of Kyrian be other than on the grounds of the palace? You know, especially like this. And mm -hmm. we do have the scene where I'm like pounding on my desk and <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, Tracy. Calm down. What's his face? Would it, Barthenis wouldn't have the rising sun of Kyrian on anything in his garden, right? Like, this would have to be attached to the sun palace somehow, wouldn't it? I feel like it would because it wouldn't be the royal palace. Like it would be Barthelis's right. manor. Yeah. But and so he would like have his sigil on everything. That's what I would, I would assume. Yes. I'm super stumped on this one. What if it's I don't a Kyrian flashback of Moraine's timeline growing up in the Sun Palace? Maybe this is someone who mentored her. Maybe this is her Aes Sedai that mentored her. If so, perhaps Grey Aja? It could be possible. I mean, it would be very logical of a Kyrianan to keep Grey. Oh my gosh, like, and smart too. Politics, like, mm -hmm. yeah. And like working out trade mm -hmm. and treaties and whatnot, like a Grey would mm -hmm. be superb for that. Well, Rafe said in his Twitter talk from the other day mm -hmm. that they were going to continue with giving us cold opens from point of view characters who aren't point of view characters in the books. Which... Have they listened to our episodes? Is I know, right? Doing <laughs> <laughs> so I could see this being a flashback cold open of some sorts. That's pot on fame. Pot on I was thinking inside Faldara. Yeah. Like maybe we're going to get like a, this is how I ended up sitting on the throne with all these goodies, you know? Yeah. This does look like the lighting mm -hmm. and stuff from mm -hmm. within Faldara. That window in the background though, like you just had your mouse on it a second ago. Mm -hmm. Like that, I feel like we saw that in a Faldara scene. I think that's why to me it feels Faldara-esque. Who? Is this? Could be a fade. Summer? I'm very intrigued by this. An outpost of some kind? Yeah, this looks like I said I. Red, blue, can't tell. Blue. No, you might be right. The only thing that comes to mind as far as like some sort of weird outpost is the entryway to Falma, like by the harbor. Maybe it's a Lyda. Weird. Okay. We've this got, is fun. We've got a white cloak. We've got... Ooh. Shanchen, perhaps? Their heads are covered. It would make sense for it to be Shanchen and white cloaks. This like looks... as far as... Bug-like. I can't quite tell, but it looks as though, like, the face guard has almost like a bizarro mandible... Yes. ...look to it. Yes. Look at this guy on the ground. He's like, oh... Oh, oh, sucks to be me. Oh, my leg. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Huh? White cloak with an axe right there. Oh, how fun. Ooh, he's got white hair too. Definitely an axe. I would almost say that it's crescent shaped as well. Like 
young bull. So this oh, how interesting credence to his axe idea. holder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a good catch. This shot oh. is beautiful. Do you know what I thought so of? So pretty. You know what I thought of right when I saw it? Tracy who's wants the, this outfit. Who's the best <laughs> little water carrier all grown up? <laughs> is she carrying like a little water? It kind thing? of looks like it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is her off to like scrub floors. Or this is her packing up to go save someone. Uh, but yeah. I don't know if she would be wearing white to go do that. Novice white. Her hair's not braided. Mm -hmm. I just noticed that for the first time. Amber, she jumped from a cliff. And now her hair's not braided. I still don't know if I'm I'm with this whole unbraiding of the hair thing. This almost looks like a teapot or something, like going on an adventure. I mean, you always take your teapot with you when it's adventure time, right? How often on the road do they stop to make <laughs> tea? Constantly. I it's mean, like that's why she needs all the water. Behind. <laughs> it could be a little Easter egg up. to Tiny Egwene and the Ravens chapters carrying water. That's, that would be really cute. That's my hot take. I like it. I love this dress, though. I mean, seriously. The work on that sleeve, whatever this is down the side that she's got going on, it looks cool and it's utilitarian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm very, very happy with how this looks. This looks really cool. <laughs> okay. Let's get to this. Mm -hmm. Who this, is uh, this? I think that's Matt. Oh, water okay. yard, water yard, water yard scuffle. Well, this definitely looks very white tower. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I hadn't looked at it super closely before, but like the the panels around the windows on like that second balcony up, the construction of the pillars. Yeah, this could be Galad or not Galad Gawain. You think so? Could be. Strapping young yeah, man just... with a square jaw, the bachelor. <laughs> Why do they all have In my heart of hearts, staffed? Golan and Gawain should have swords, right? Yes. Yeah. That's why I'm like stuck here. I think you're right about that being Matt though. Yeah. His frame and the hair. Yeah. But why Spears? What if they're doing like an exhibition and Matt's like, I am better with this than you are. And they all like leap around and blah, blah, blah. And instead of like, doing like flourishes. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Four gate. I don't know. Everything's the four gate to me. Everything's the four gate. Ramshackle. Four gate or yeah. 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 Did you mean the next I'm scene? Yeah, yeah, this like little fight scene thing that's happening. I mean, I guess it's Aiel. That's obvious. Oh, it's Aiel. In a white cloak. With an axe. With another friggin' axe. When did all the white cloaks start carrying axes? I don't know why Aviando would be fighting some white cloaks, but I'm happy. Right? Like, I'm happy to see it. Yeah, why not? This. <laughs> Elias. <laughs> Shinaran. Perrin, oh. Fade. I think this is Ingtar. Ooh, yeah. Shinarans. So are we assuming that like Una's around there somewhere too? Yeah, maybe he's scouting or something. I think I think in this scene here, I'm more on board with this person being Perrin. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's the, the arms. Yeah. It's the arms mm -hmm. for me and the hair. And yeah. the height. Even, Look how much even the taller arch. he looks than like, these two yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. I absolutely love that we are going to get the Merdral on the door to a door scene. <laughs> when we were Fuck in the yes! great hunt, we were like, they got to do yes! it. They got to make it start. Ah! <laughs> My heart is filled with glee at this moment. I don't know if that was the reaction they were going for. But yes. Oh, my gosh. But where's Varen? Like, we need a creepy Varen moment. Where is she? Maybe Varen's hanging back somewhere. Do you think this is Inktar right here? Like... I do. I'll I do. kill you, you know? Like, I'll slit your throat. 
I think I'm, more like he's, alive. he's in, Is he? I mean, why else would he be holding a blade to its throat unless to get it to stop thrashing? Oh. My my assumption looking at this is like he's walking up to it to like lift up the head to make sure it's actually a murdral. Like mm. this is something they've never seen before. And so this has to be like just like wild to them to see a murdral like this. So I feel like it's because I mean, these guys aren't on guard enough, in my opinion, for the murdral to still be alive. I think this is an inspection by sword. Man, that picture of Yosha, like that just quick glimpse of him. What are you thinking, friend? What's happening with you? And he's wearing a black shirt here. So we have another another outfit change for... <laughs> this is Rand and Kyrian being like, <laughs> how do I play Dust Mar? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just throw everything in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> These so are these master. are all of the letters. These are all the <laughs> invitations. <laughs> I shall not answer a single one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he looks like he's sitting someplace with like pillows. Mm -hmm. There's some really pretty carved scroll work behind him. There's the scene. Land! Look oh. at that knobby tree. That's a cool tree. Okay, so land. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming this is possibly just like meditation time for Lan, mm -hmm. you know, like how he uses sword practice for meditation. I have a feeling we're going to have like some intro somewhere more where Moraine is mm. doing something and then mm. like Lan will be off to the side doing his own thing as well. Maybe they might mm -hmm. be a little bit terse with each other. I could see Moraine being a little bit extra 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 <laughs> because she's been cut off or shielded so oh, yeah 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 like yeah he might need this alone time mm -hmm. i want a moment potentially a cold open of them meeting i want to see him yeah i want to see him throw her in a pond i want that i, I would love a new spring flashback yes absolutely Always again. Who again. Think, who do you think Potanjain is snarling at? Um, let's see here. Options, options, options. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Parent? It could, it could be Ingtar. Rand. Ingtar. Turok. When he oh, starts, perhaps. When he starts kind of running his mouth to Lord Turok. Yeah, I am really curious about, like, is he going to play it the same? Like, are they going to play Pot and Fane the same way in the show I as hope. they do in the book, where he's, like, kind of this sniveling, groveling person coming to Lord Turok and, like, is trying to hide how terrible he is, but we all know he's terrible. Turok knows he's terrible. So this okay. has to be Falma, right? Like... Toman head Falma area. Ooh, yes. Here's your is are these your trebuchets? Trebuchets! <laughs> okay, so these would be the white cloaks. White cloaks. These would be the strong Chen. Chen. That's my oh, guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna bet this isn't a white cloak camp just based off of the costume over to the left. I'm gonna bet that's a white cloak. Yeah. Bring out the trebuchets. Yeah. <laughs> that's fun <laughs> <laughs> i'm excited about this what do you think the what do you think the, they're like and they will be hockey puck shaped because like <laughs> you're beneath us well yeah, exactly like they're like we don't actually create really cool minis for our opponents we just do that for, for ourselves. ourselves these are yeah. like the generic ones that just represent any yeah. enemy this is the, <laughs> the sea this is the sea wayfarers expansion of Catan. that's <laughs> this is actually what this is <laughs> okay i love it oh that's fun oh that's so so fun i love that parent okay. again ah, Uno. okay okay white cloak this this looks similar to the oh to the shan chan, chan, chan the red and the mandible 
the mandible, <laughs> thinking of the mandible claw. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it would not go against the book for them to be fighting Sean Chen and White Cloaks simultaneously. True. This just could be them sneaking into Falma. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Have to take out a couple on the way in. Isn't that mm -hmm. what happens? They jump a courtyard and Intar, mm -hmm. whoever, just slits a couple guys' throats and mm -hmm. like they slip in. Yeah, he was overconfident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Intar. Mm. Oh, okay. Someone's Look. getting dragged, right? It's Karen again. Look the oh. cuffed. Mm. The cuffed. Mm -hmm. Oh, recognize that forearm anywhere, Tracy. What? Look at this big hulking person. You think this could possibly be our first gardener? I don't know. It's possible, right? It looks like there's a white cloak in one hand. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and like someone else in the other. It could be one of the Shinarans. Oh yeah. You got to be pretty big to drag two people at once who are at kicking the same and, time. at the same time. So more to the gardener theory. Ooh, that'd be fun. That would be so fun. Yeah, because you'd be like, why do they have these really big dudes? And then yeah. it's like, oh, it's not a human. <laughs> okay. <Right? laughs> I love that. Oh, I'd love that. So. <laughs> what is this? It's Quaith from Game of Thrones. No, I don't know. <laughs> right? Geeky Eerie on Twitter posted an image of this face and then kind of like superimposed the actress who people are guessing is Lanfear. And I have to say really? the lips look very, very similar. Why Mercedes would Lanfear wear that? I... Well, this the Mercedes is... Benz of headgear? Is that what you were going to say? <laughs> No, this is like a this is a symbol that is used in oddly enough, I kind of feel like this might be Sean Chen. I have the same thought because the outfit is so out there. What about Saroth? Like the, it could be, the yes. high the high lady who takes away um a queen from Lyandrin. Yeah, absolutely. I mean they do like they do veil their faces. Maybe this is a different interpretation of Right, because you can't look at people beneath you, right? So this yeah. is how. Yeah, yeah. I love it if that's who that was. Book four. So this would be the Shadow Rising and the Panarch's Palace. Mm -hmm. Egwene had traveled in Teleron Rio to the museum in the Panarch's Palace where many ancient artifacts on display. And there's a silvery thing in the cabinet with a three-pointed star made from no mm -hmm. substance that she could think of that couldn't be scratched or gouged. So Queen DR. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is like this old and timey, like <laughs> age of legends symbol. So it would make sense for someone like Lanfear to be wearing age of legends mm -hmm. garb. Mm -hmm. But still, I think the idea of the Sean Chen covering the face is mm -hmm quite a good possibility or it's Lanfear moonlighting moonlighting <laughs> as Sean Chen because she shows up somewhere and maybe they switch it up from the books mm -hmm. to make it to make it not as easy to guess like who's mm -hmm. Lanfear like when she mm -hmm. shows up it does have those weird mandibles <laughs> yeah like it almost looks like bones mm-hmm and there is something about like the structure of it that seems to come off behind it. God, I'd love to see the full thing on that. Mm -hmm. Who's getting thrown off this horse? Yikes! Well, I was just thinking this looks like that dark figure from earlier that was just kind of walking. And yeah, had, like a sword and was like yeah. all yeah. The the scenery around it looks the same too. In that flash, the horse kind of reminds me of Aldib. Yeah, that looks very very similar. Who is that? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Is that Inktar? Oh. I don't know if that's Inktar. It almost looks like the actor for Luz Theron. 
Really? With the red? Looks like the coat of the dragon. I don't no, know. No, I think that's Perrin in the background. <gasps> oh, what if it's one of the heroes of the horn? What if it's Arthur oh, Hawkway? Is this outfit heroes of the horn worthy? I was going to say the clothing and outfits for the heroes of the horn are something that like, <laughs> who knows? It could be Rogash Eagle Eye. Who it knows? That'd be fun. You know? Is he wearing a Hidori, though? It's so fast, but I feel almost like there's, I can't tell if it's like a thing of his <laughs> eyebrows. Just like I know what you mean. Quickly, or if he's got a Hidori. And this guy is wearing like a Panama hat. So, I mean, well, it what does age look is warm. he from? <laughs> <laughs> the age of questionable hat wear. <laughs> I am Tommy Bahama, legendary hero <laughs> of the horn. <laughs> yeah, that's Interesting. It. Mm. Season two. I want to know people's opinions, mm -hmm. what they saw. Mm -hmm. I, I want to know what people are most excited about. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I, I want. And like and subscribe. And, and come join us for our live stream oh. for our birthday 100 100th episode 100th episode it's very exciting ah oh, we did it we're so good yeah so join us then giveaways fun times will be had <laughs> <laughs>